Hi guys, today I just want to give you an example of what happens with uh, a real cell uh, when you change or vary the external resistance. So what I've got here, I've got a uh, a 9 volt battery. So here I've got a 9 volt battery. I've got my voltmeter uh, across my 9 volt battery and it's actually not reading 9 volts, it's reading 8.9. The reason it's showing 8.9, not 9 volts, is because this battery here has got some internal resistance. In fact, what I've actually done is I've set the internal resistance to 1 ohm. Uh, so the, the, the battery here, some of the, the voltage from our perfect cell, okay, so our, our perfect battery, we're kind of imagining that inside here, there's a perfect battery which will just give out as much current as possible it's always at 9 volts but there's also this kind of like kind of demon demoness kind of uh, uh internal resistor that as the current increases it starts to steal more and more uh voltage from our perfect battery that's inside here and at the moment, it's not taking a lot because it's uh, the resistance here. I've set it to a maximum. So this is the ex external uh, resistor here, and I've set it to a maximum of a hundred uh, ohms. So the current that's flowing through our circuit at the moment is not particularly not particularly big. It's about uh, 90 milliamps or 0 0.09 amps. But what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to decrease the decrease the resistance here so I'm going to get a lot of current flowing through uh, my circuit and what you're going to see is as I decrease the resistance or increase the the current the the potential difference across our cell here the terminal potential di difference is going to be reduced and reduced and reduced okay so here we go so I'm decreasing the external resistance you can see it's dropped to 8.8 .8. Uh, it's getting lower and lower and lower. Uh, 8.5, 8.2, now 7 volts. So uh, as it's got further and further, uh, sorry, as the as the resistance has got less and less and less, the external resistance as it's got less and less and less, and the current in our circuit has got higher and higher and higher. That internal resistance here is taking more and more. Uh, it's taking more and more voltage from our uh, our perfect battery. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up our circuit so instead of having our real battery, I'm going to actually make this the perfect battery. So I'm going to set this to zero. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to actually include a another resistor and we're going to kind of pretend that this is our internal resistor and I told you I set this to 1 ohm so I'm going to set this again to 1 ohm so again we should see exactly the same thing so now this is like a perfect battery okay let me go back to the beginning so now we've got a hundred ohms so again this everything here okay is what we would see in the real world outside of our battery. So we're imagining this is the internal resistance here. This is our perfect battery now with an EMF that is constantly 9 volts. It's constantly giving out 9 volts. And then this is kind of like our secret hidden internal resistor that's going to steal more and more voltage. So I just want to show you how that happened. So again, we've still got our external resistance at 100. And then what we're going to see, let me just move the... Uh, uh, the voltmeter, you're going to see that as the current increases that our internal resistor is going to steal more and more of this uh, voltage given out by the EMF here. Okay, so let me do that. Let me... So you can see as I'm increasing the current now, so I'm up to one point... Oh, hang on, I've gone a bit too far. Let's go back to 1.56. Well, you can see the internal resistor is stealing 
about 1.5 volts. Don't worry about the negative because you think this side is positive from the battery here, this side is negative. Uh, so don't worry about the negative, it's just the fact that the uh, this side is positive, this side is negative. So that's why there's a negative there. But I just want to illustrate to you the idea that as you increase the current, that kind of uh, internal resistor is pinching more and more voltage. In fact, if I Imagine if I disconnected my battery, so let me just remove one of these uh, wires now. In fact, the voltage across here goes to zero, and the voltage across here, what would be the terminals, should actually be nine. And there you go, it's nine volts. So when you actually have no current flowing, so when, when effectively when you disconnect a battery, and you measure the voltage across the terminals, that is the EMF of the, of the battery. Okay, I hope that's been useful. Bye for now.